Hello, and welcome back to Music Theory for Worship with The Theory Guys. And let's look at the harmonic series. Music Theory for Worship. Explaining things just as if we knew what we were talking about. Let's talk about the particular pictures that uh, are part of the overtone series, as you see here on the wall. The overtone series of a C, a fundamental in C. And, and just for argument's sake, let's call that a hundred. A hundred hertz, that makes the math easy. Yeah. Um, it, it's not all that far off anyway. So, okay, so this low C, well, we think we're hearing the low C, but at the same time, we're also hearing half of that, which twice the frequency. Is a C above that. Just as we were talking with the resonance, a ratio of two to one will create an octave higher. And, and then at the same time, there is sounding a G, an octave and a fifth above that fundamental at 300 hertz. 100, 200, 300. A ratio of three to two, or a ratio of three to one if you're going from the fundamental. So three to two is a perfect fifth in anybody's world. And then a perfect fourth was four to three. So not surprisingly, we're going to have 400. Yeah. And notice that 400 is twice 200. So therefore, they are both C's, but an octave apart. All right. So C that being 100, 200, 400. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the next overtone would be 500. And that one is an E, where we have a major third. So a five to four ratio is a major third. All right, the, the next overtone is 600, or one sixth of the string. Six is two times 300, so it is also a G. And a G is going to be a minor third above an E. So here we have a six five. Six to five ratio, ratio. is a minor third. And move on to 800. 800 is twice 400, twice 200, which is twice 100, so it's yet another C. C. Then, at a ratio of 9 to 8 of that C, uh, 900 hertz, we would have a D. Uh, so we have a, a major second. And, and now, we're not just building a C major triad. See, up to this point, everything belonged to that C major triad. C, and G, you know how you, E. When, when you're learning piano or guitar or orchestration, they tell you to space out and have octaves at the beginning, and then you get your harmonies closer. Do you see how that matches the natural voicing of uh, the harmonic series itself? Your teacher was not crazy. By the time you get up to 12, we're back to a G, twice 6, which is twice 3. And uh, so now you notice the balance that we've had C, C, C. See, we've got four Cs. We've got three Gs. We have two E's. And then we've got some other notes uh, in between. That natural voicing is stuff that we learn when we're learning part writing rules. Or when we talk about those stable pitches. The stable pitches are the overtone series. That's why the notes are stable. The matter of harmonics shows up in sympathetic vibrations in a piano. If I were to play a C, this key right here, you see the string vibrating. You think you're just hearing the fundamental, but in truth you're hearing all those other tones. show you that those pitches really are sounding, uh, let me push down the, the keys so that I raise the dampers on the three notes that are kind of upper partials here. Uh, that's a C major chord. I'm going to hit a C down here low. I'm going to let go of the C, but you'll hear the overtones. Well, let me just move everything down a half step so that I've got all members of a B overtone. But I'm going to play a C as the fundamental, and we'll hear what happens. I was looking for something that's in common between the B overtone series and the C overtone series. You have to get mighty high before anything is shared. If I were to take the uh, entire length of this string and sound it, well, it's a G. 
if I were to measure this out from this point to this point, and it would be a certain length, I could find the halfway point. But they've already marked that for me. It's right here where there are the two dots. So I touch the node. Now if I push that down all the way and I play it, well, it's a half, half of a string. So it would make sense that it would be an octave higher, right? But if I just touch the node, then what I've done is I've stopped the entire string from vibrating, but each half of the string can vibrate. So if I were divided into thirds, this would be the one third mark. And sure enough, it's a fifth higher. Just as we would expect. Wait a second. If I were to push this string down all the way, then one third of the one half of the string is vibrating. If I were to push it down here, two thirds of the string are vibrating, and it's therefore a lower note. But if I just touch the node, then this third of the string is vibrating, and this third, and this third. So it's an octave higher because I've only got one third of the string. And as a matter of fact, there's another note here, right? I get the same pitch because I'm touching it at the one third or the two thirds mark. I'll bet one fourth would be an octave higher than one half. This is the two fifths mark right here. The fifth partial, which would also be here. And also there. It works on any stringed instrument. Again, at the halfway point we have that. Take this pipe and divide it in half. That's where this hole is. So I'd go up an octave if I just take my fingers off all of the holes. So anyway, as I uncover these holes, I go up the scale. It's the fundamental. I can play it softly. But if I blow harder, it will do the next harmonic. I didn't have to move anything, I just blew harder. That's where true harmonics come. Now what do you suppose happens if I blow a little bit harder than that? I'd probably get the fifth above that because acoustically that's the only thing I can do. This isn't because somebody invented them a magic instrument that uh, coincidentally works that way. Every vibrating body of air will do the same thing. fifth higher, the octave, the third above that, certain unstable notes that resolved to stable notes. Well, guess what the stable notes are? They're part of the overtone series. What, what is the language of music? Conflict and resolution. Unstable pitches resolved to stable ones. What's the story or the plot of music? Music leaves home and it comes back. And now what we've talked about is what creates those stable pitches? Well, you start with a note, whatever that note might be, that becomes time, and there are stable pitches that are naturally a part of the overtone series.